Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but all right. I, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of mean to wheel it. But I do not like uh, how, how long it takes for these handles to come back. Did you see that? Oh! The cool thing is the flexibility. All right, now I'm gonna come back up. Too cool, I haven't seen that on another boat. This is the most comfortable one so far, at least just standing here. We just tested every brand's top of the line standard because we wanted to know for ourselves who had the best. Now everyone thinks that they have the best, but I'm gonna be the judge of that. There are fights that will happen over this video, that's fine. But what I'm looking for is comfort and ergonomics and any bells and whistles that can help separate these mowers out because all of them are gonna give a decent to great cut, okay? Now I wanna let you know, we've already picked the winner. This is after, like I'm dusty from all like hours of demos just for you. So what we're going to do is go on out there and we're gonna jump into each one of them, going from start to finish, driving them around, talking through my thoughts as someone who actually runs a standard and see who we end up crowning king. And you might be surprised. Let's go. All right, we are here looking at the Ferris Z3X 61 inch. Let's hop on. Okay. Yeah, we got some spring, but it's, it, it is a little stiff. These are thinner than the ones that I am used to with the Skag. And let's turn up the, I'm not a huge fan of these buttons with the throttle, honestly, but let's go. Look, we can all agree that admin sucks. So what if I told you I could reduce your admin workload by over 75%? You don't want to do it, right? Well, that's exactly what Check does. Go download the Check app today to dramatically decrease the amount of time you're spending on admin. I, uh, I'm finding that the, the bars that I have to squeeze are a little far away. All right. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm holding on by my fingertips over here. So I think that, oh ho, I just noticed something that is a fix to the issue that I'm seeing. Talk about this. Let me push my throttle button that I don't like. Okay, turn it off. Okay, I just noticed something that I wish I would have seen before. My biggest complaint about this is that I couldn't squeeze, like look at how far away my, my fingers are, but this is pretty dang smart. Look at that. I wish I would have seen, that would have been a game changer. Okay, I think I would have liked it a lot more had I noticed what this was for. But I will say, um, I, was, I was expecting the, the ride to be a little softer, so we'll go. Bobcat ZS 4,000, 52 inch. Okay, let's see. The rep actually legitimately just said, uh, you know, since we're going after like comfortability and ergonomics, he was like, oh, we're gonna win that. I'm gonna be the judge of that. Okay, so step it on for the first time. Never stood on this. This is smooth. I like how bouncy it is. Okay, I wonder if I can start it. Okay. Ooh, I like that knob. On my Skag V-Ride, too, I have, it's a really awkward placement for throttle. I have to reach through here, but there is a knob that is the throttle, and I'm a fan of that. I think that's legit. Let's see, can your boy find the freaking switch? Where the freak is the parking brake on this thing? Am I an idiot? Oh, cut, this is the parking brake. The thing I was just playing with is the parking brake. Okay, um, I don't like this one already because it made me look like an idiot. Let's go! Okay, so far, actually, I'm. this is extremely smooth. I really, whoa, okay. These handles do not come back as fast. So like, I let go of this. I don't know if you just saw that, but it took a little bit to slow down. I don't know about that. As far as comfortability, it is comfortable. Like, the knee, my knees aren't hurting. It's bouncing up and down a good bit. Um, I like how thick these handles are, but I do not like how hard, uh, how, how long it takes for these handles to come back. Did you see that? It took a while for it to come back. And this one doesn't feel near as fast either. Okay, yeah, 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 you're the only one. Okay, parking brake, turn it off. See, now I know how to use this thing. Okay. Um, my biggest issue with this one is whenever you release, look at how long it takes for these handles to come back. 
now we are back to normal. Now, for mine, what I'm used to is if I let that thing off, I can stop really, really fast and not have to wait to slow down. I almost feel like I have to pull these things back. So I'd be curious to know if there's a way to loosen that to preference. Let's go on to the next one. All right, Hustler Super SF 60 inch. This is not bad. It's a little, this is comfy for sure. I, ooh, I like the, uh, the pad. Okay, so let's start it up. A couple of things that I'm seeing that I like already um, is just it feels like there's a good distance between uh, between these. I like the, uh, I really like how all the controls are behind the handles, okay? So I really like that because some of the other mowers are really awkward and you have to reach through and it's, it's just a little difficult to, uh, to get going. But uh, let's start this up. Oh, one other thing I'll point out. We saw that this has an electrical de uh, deck dropping feature. Watch this deck, look at this. I'm dropping the deck, which is really, really cool. Okay, so let's give it a go. Oh! like a freaking beast. I'm a really big fan of how smooth these controls are. Off the top of my head, I don't know that I've uh, demoed another mower that is as smooth as this one. I've been on a more comfortable uh, standing deck, but as far as the controls go, man, these things are butter. These things are buttery smooth. I'm liking this one, guys. I'm really liking this one. All right, I'm gonna try to not hit my head. At a glance, man, this thing is super smooth. Um, favorite controls by far, I can at least call that. We still have some more people we need to demo, but definitely favorite controls so far. Um, this thing comes up, you can lean it forward. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta do one more, because I think I can go faster on this thing. One sec, I promise. Holy crap, that's so much faster. Okay, I thought earlier, I thought earlier it was a little slow whenever I pegged it right there. This thing is way faster if you move this forward. Okay, I bet I can even, who are we waiting on? Oh my gosh, that is amazing, okay. That's super, super fast. What, what, what are we doing here, little man? Show a little itty bitty mower. Okay, I didn't mean to do that, but all right, I, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of mean to wheelie that thing. Top two, all right, let's, let's go. I ease it in, not take it off the ground. And man, this thing is, oh, little bump, little bumpy doodle dandy. <laughs> all right, I'm having way too much fun on this thing. Let's peg it. That was pegged. Okay, now we're done. We're gonna let this fella have a turn. All right, let's go. Right ZK 61 inch. I've been excited to try this one because Wright literally invented the standard. Okay, I'm getting some cushion. All right, this is this is the uh, this is the most comfortable one so far. At least just standing here, and this these. Uh, these controls are a little different than all the others. The other ones have a bar right here that you either push forward or backwards to go uh, to, to make it move. This, there's a center bar that you're holding on to at all times. You're pushing, uh, you're pulling forward to go forward. You're pulling these to go backwards. So I'm excited to try this one. Let's go. Park and brake off. I'm not, I, I don't necessarily like how awkward this is. Um, I like the, uh, one of them had a knob. I can't remember at this time. We. But let's go. Let's see what it is. Man, this thing is freaking smooth. Keep that inside tire moving, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm liking this one a lot right now. We got the straightaway. We're about to about green, green flag racing. Here we go. Let's max it out. We're bouncing, but that is smooth. I also like the pad. Some of the other pads are super dense and not as comfortable on the knees, but I will say this is one of the more comfortable pads. I'm 
feeling this one right now, y'all. What the freak is it? It's like a Formula One track is what they set out. Lewis Hamilton on the inside. Overtakes Leclerc. I don't know if anyone else watches Formula One. Okay, I'm having too much fun on this one, y'all. See, like, I don't know, like, I almost pull back, and if I pull back right there, I'm going off the back. I, so, got to remember to do this. Which makes it a, a little harder, honestly, to, like, adjust where you want to park it. But I want to talk about this, because this pad is the most comfortable. The controls are a little awkward, but I, I can't ding it too much, because I haven't ran this a lot. Um, and then, so far, the platform feels like the sturdiest and the most comfortable because I'm getting a good bit of bounce, which is important. If you're standing up all day, it, your legs and your back have to absorb all of this, but the bounciness helps you not have to um, take a beating on the back as much. So, all right, I'm a fan of that. Let's go to the next one. All right. I'm here with the Grasshopper SO2661 inch standard and I'm really excited to demo this thing. Uh, so the rep just gave us a little bit of background on, uh, on what went into this and some of the cool different features. Um, one of the first things that I noticed since we're looking at how comfortable is it uh, and how easy is it to drive is the deck, It's uh, the standing deck. The, it's wide, it's extremely soft, it has some uh, multiple springs on it but it also has these gas powered shocks so that it's gonna help, it helps me absorb more of uh, more of different bumps and hills, stuff like that. Um, another couple things that I really like about this one is you have a place to put your phone, your truck keys, and you also have a USB charger right in here. I think that is super cool. Um, uh, I haven't seen that on on any others. Some people have like cup holders, but this one, but nothing nothing like this. I really like that. Um, very simple panel. Uh, I, I've knocked other brands for having their controls under, uh, having the different uh, buttons and uh, choke and throttle underneath, but there's there's enough room, uh, I guess at least right now, to, to move everything. I'd probably use it with this hand. I'd bump it if I hit, if I use it with there, PTO right here. The other thing that I thought was kind of wild, I would not have known about this had, uh, had the rep not told me about this, but this this entire control panel has four and a half inches of vertical uh, ch changeability. Like you can literally loosen this, uh, loosen this bolt and lift this up. So if you're really tall, you can bring this thing up. If you prefer it to be lower, then you can do that too. I think that's awesome. I like the options. Okay. I want to see like, I'm going to set it to where I'd prefer it. Actually, I want to see how low it'll go. See, that's a little too low for me, but it gives you, the cool thing is the flexibility. All right, now I'm gonna come back up. Look, we all know that admin sucks and nobody wants to come home after a hard day's work to more work. So download Check Today to get your business organized and Man, automate your admin. That's too cool. I haven't seen that on another mower. Other couple things that I like to see is uh, is like how comfortable is it to move, uh, move this forward. I like having these a little uh, larger, but it's still not too far. These. Uh, these different knobs right here allow me to actually set the what I would call a governor on the speed. So if I want to go, want to be able to go a little faster or slower, I can do it. Put it put it right here to uh, limit myself on how fast I can go. And then if I go forward right here, that's going to set my max speed a little faster. I want to make sure that we're as fast as we can go. So one sec, there we go. I'm setting it fast. I like to go fast. Did Ricky Bobby say that? I hope I don't have to pay for that license. Or I hope I don't get in trouble for not paying for that license because we're not paying for it. All right, so now I can go fast. But let's start this thing up and go. Okay. Okay, let's get it. Smooth controls so far. Wow, very smooth controls. Um, I prefer the controls to um, stop a little faster. I don't want to hit these guys, but they need to get out of my way. I'm out here demoing a mower. My goodness, here, let's go over here. Very smooth controls. Let's 
to open it up. That's full speed. I'm gonna race this guy. Hey, come back here, bro. Hey, bro, come back. Come back. I'm gonna take him on the inside. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Wow, smooth controls, fast, comfortable. I like the wide. I like these aggressive tires too. I bet this thing holds still super well. Pull this down. Okay. I really like how smooth those controls are. Really smooth. I, I, I'm used to the mower stopping a little faster, so maybe it's personal preference. Uh, some, I guess I could see how some people would appreciate a little help slowing down uh, a little uh, smoother, uh, but I, I'm a little crazy. I like to uh, stop a little fast, um, but it's not as, uh, it's, it's like, and an, it's an acceptable, delay if, if you will i really like how smooth this thing is it's 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 fast enough um, i love these amenities so i think that's pretty cool all right let's go to the next one all right we have the grandstand hdx 60 inch i've been excited to try this one mainly because of this stand no wonder they call it the grandstand and honestly one of my favorite features about this machine is how this stand flips up to give you a little more trailer space. Let's see if this one does it. Yes. I think that is freaking amazing because, oh shoot, now I gotta find the switch to like drop it down. Oh, there we go. Dust Bowl 2022. Okay, so standing on this thing for the first time, it has no suspension. No suspension, but I feel a little give in the tires, which is pretty cool. All right, let's start this bad boy up. Okay, are you going to make me push a button again? Wait. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm just not a fan of that. Um, okay. Let's see what we got. There we go. Dude, you didn't tell me the up, left, down, right cheat code to be able to work this thing. All right. Wheel base on this is absolutely massive. It's super, super deep. I don't want to say long on camera for some reason. So. I like these controls so far. <laughs> okay, traffic jam. Let's go, bro. Oh! Go back over here. Let's go. Wait. Okay, so I totally messed that one up, but no big deal because I'm out here to freaking party. There's no suspension on this. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that there's no suspension on the actual standard itself. I would have expected with this big, it's like a really comfortable wide uh platform to stand on but it's it doesn't have any suspension the controls are pretty smooth so i think that's, that's cool i want to check the specs on this because it did not feel it did not uh did not feel as fast did not feel as fast as the other ones but overall great machine uh all right let's get out of here go to the next one okay we are here with the x mark Starus s series okay so here we go the, the plate is wide, the standing plate is wide. I like that. There's some grip, I like that. There's no cushion. There's like, there's like absolutely no cushion. So what I'm stepping on, it's just the safety switch I'm assuming, but the only bounce that I'm getting, the only give is in the tires. So as far as like something that's going to save your knees and your back, I, I, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not too happy about that yet. Um, but, and, and it's a very, very basic control panel. It uh, reminds me of the right, uh, rather than like your typical controls right here, moving forward and backwards, and these are stationary. So that's something that I'm getting used to. Maybe uh, not my personal preference, but I'm, uh, I'm a, I was a big fan of the right, so maybe I'll be a fan of this. Let's start it up and see how it drives. Okay, again, um, I just don't understand why, uh, why companies put controls under under here but I would much rather see everything right here so that I don't have to reach through um, all right release the parking brake and we're gonna head into the dust bowl and uh, I'm gonna cough a lot let's get it okay I will say right off the bat I really like how smooth these controls are I'm really impressed with how smooth the controls are so far uh, not stoked on this dust what the freak let's open it up all right, here we go. Let's open it up. I hope I don't hit Jacob. Woo yee! Oh my gosh. I'm 
happy with how smooth this is. I like that. Uh, some of the others, some of the other mowers, I feel didn't back up fast enough, but this one's pretty dang fast. Uh, or I guess I would say it's really responsive. So again, 100% of the terrain, all these bumps, it's all being absorbed by my knees. But can it do donuts? I'm gonna say yes. That's a strong yes. Donut approved, baby. Okay, ladies in my parking spot. Let's, let's talk about this. I, uh, the controls, ex oh, extremely smooth. It's, it's definitely fast enough. I liked how responsive it was in reverse. Once you get used to it, you wanna be able to go as fast as you can. And I feel like this gives you a good, uh, good the ability to do that. I did not see that on, on uh, some of the other mowers. My biggest knock against this, and I haven't heard anyone mention this, is that the, the plate, it's not comfortable to stand on at all. There's no give. And I just think that's interesting. Whenever you're choosing to stand up all day, you would want something that would help you to absorb uh, the impact of, your, of the train and obstacles that you're going over so that your knees and your back aren't taking 100% of the blow. So anyways, but overall, I, uh, I think it's a solid machine. There are a lot that I like about it um, and some things I don't, but let's go to the next one. Let's go. Okay, we are here with the Gravely Pro Stance 52 inch and I'm gonna give you some first impressions. So this one, I don't think the deck, well the deck lifts up, does it go all the way up like the Toro, kinda, but not all the way. But it could save a little bit of room on the trailer. So I'm gonna stand on it first time, we'll see. Okay, I'm getting enough uh, bounce, but I hear some squeaky springs. So, do with that what you will. Okay, so, so this is the safety mechanism. I'm kind of getting to know this one for the first time. It looks like with these, uh, as with some of these other mowers, it gives you the ability to set a governor. I, I really like this option, but honestly, this is probably the most poorly executed version only because I, you have to unscrew it all the way and then change it and then screw it back in. It's not a quick process. Some of the others had better mechanisms to allow you to, um, uh, to change it faster. So then everything else, uh, the throttle again under here, maybe that's unavoidable. Maybe I'm asking for too much. I just like the idea of things being a little more accessible so you don't have to squeak your hand under there. The only other thing that the rep said this, and I haven't seen this on any other mower, and oh my gosh, I wish it was on other mowers as well, is the ability to float the deck from a standard. Are you freaking kidding me? So I wanna set, let's say that I have the deck down, I'm cutting grass, I move my foot over here and I just push down to float the deck a little bit. That's incredible because you know you know what they call me on the streets? The scalp king because I scalp yards. It's what I'm about, baby. So anyways, I'm kidding. Don't scalp yards, people. But let's, let's demo this. All right, throttle up. All right. Oh, little backfire, I didn't do anything, so what's up with that? Okay, smooth controls. Okay, it's a little squirrely. A little, a little squirrely. Some of the controls, let's see if I can put it in a better, in a better way. All right, here, all right, here's how I put it. Whenever I go over certain bumps, the controls feel like they get a, a little more uh, affected than other motors that I've used. Now, as for speed, I think the speed is, uh, is totally fine. Um, like, say you're coming up on a deal, slow down, float the deck, that's sick. Something that I think is really convenient so that you can make sure you have straight line and float the deck. I, I thought I would, I thought I wouldn't be bounced around as much. I'm not a huge fan of that, uh, but it's not as comfortable as I thought it would be. The pad is the, is comfortable. Um, I like how it's wider. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go to the next one. All right, and now we are at the Skag V-Ride 2 61 inch deck. Um, this is what I run in a 36 inch deck, so I'm excited to see if, it, if there's any difference, uh, but 
I've been thinking about this mower throughout the day as we've been demoing other mowers uh, because there are things that I like way more about other mowers. So let me try to take a little bit of a fresh eye at this because this is a newer model than what I'm used to. So I'm gonna step on and right now, um, there is a bit of a spring, but it's because there are rubber stoppers. So I'm getting, uh, I'm definitely getting some springiness, so it's gonna help me absorb uh, some of the shocks over uh, different rough terrain. Um, whenever I was talking about, I don't like how companies put a lot of the controls under, uh, like a, a lot of the buttons and levers under here, I was thinking about Skag because I'm not a fan of how much I have to reach under here for everything. I wish there is a different way uh, to do this. But let's, uh, let's start this thing up and give it a go. All right, here we go. Smooth controls. I'm more so used to this one. One thing about the Skag is that um, some of the others have an adjustable, uh, what I've been calling a governor. So you can move this bar forward and backwards. Can't do that on this one. It's either all in or all out. Now, personally, I, I think that that's probably the right way to go uh, because my only beef with systems that have uh, have that different uh, capability is that if I want to truly go full throttle, then this has to be super far forward, which might make it a little out of reach. There have been other machines where I've had to stretch my hands out and uh, wrap the tips of my fingers around, and it's just not, I don't think it's as good of a uh, user experience, if you will. I'm just gonna turn around. So now we're gonna scoot. We are full speed. Don't stop that inside tire, people. Okay, so just some thoughts on this. Um, this is, I would not say this is the most comfortable deck, uh, standing deck, but it is way more comfortable than some that I've used uh, today. I'm, maybe it's personal preference, so I'm just gonna expose a little bit of, uh, of what I've been used to. Maybe it's my personal preference how, uh, how tight these different uh, controls are, but I like being, being able to go full throttle um, without the adjustable. I think that's a cool feature. I think I liked it a lot at, on, on some of the other mowers at first because I wasn't used to it, but after having demoed a number of them, um, to set that governor, man, I just, I would just prefer everything to be set in place and then uh, that way full throttle can truly be full throttle without having to like reach my hands way out there um, and have way more uh, power. Now you're going with this one, if you, if you move it just a little bit, I know for me, the first, uh, the first day, man, my stripes look like freaking trash because it was, it was a lot to get used to. But overall, I think it's a great machine. All right, let's get it. Man, that was a ton of information and I hope you enjoyed it. So which mower do you think is the best for 2023? Well, I'm about to let you know what I think, but first I'm gonna tell you something that you're probably gonna hear over and over and over, not just from me, but from all kinds of different lawn care operators. Dealer support is of utmost importance whenever you're talking about buying something as expensive as a commercial mower. So there are brands that I have considered using and that I wanted to use that I immediately nixed because I didn't have a dealer near me. So make sure that you go out and find what dealers offer around you and then just go ahead and narrow down your options to only those. It would make equipment downtime that much more painful if you had to drive an hour, hour and a half to get to a dealer of a brand that you really, really wanted. So choose one that's near you. That's your first assignment. That being said, not all mowers were equal. A lot of them were good, but only a few of them were great. So I had to narrow it down to three categories, the best controls, the best new mower, and the best all around. The winner for the mower with the best controls is the Hustler Super SF. This thing was an absolute beast, but the controls were literally smoother than any of the other mowers that I demoed that day. It was uh, extremely easy to control. Everything's accessible, comfortable to operate. The mower drives super smooth, has a comfortable knee pad and plenty of cushion and spring in the standing platform. Um, it's also the fastest mower out there. Did I say that already? It's like the thing zips. It's absolutely absurd. Overall, still, 
ha it has the smoothest controls. So I think that that was an awesome mower. I would definitely run a Hustler Super SF. The winner for the best new mower is the Grasshopper SO2660. This thing was amazing. I, I was super excited whenever I heard that Grasshopper was coming out with a stander uh, because I've admired the Grasshopper brand even though I don't have a dealer near me. Uh, but this mower had the most comfortable standing platform out of any of the others, probably due to the gas shocks that were shock absorbers that were integrated to the standing deck. I can't I can't believe that more uh more standing decks don't have that because it dramatically reduced the up bounce that I experienced from that standing deck, but it also reduced the amount of shock that my knees had to absorb. And I don't know who else is only running standers out there, but whenever you're running a stander and you're standing up all day and you're walking around trimming and stuff like that, anything that you can do to, to reduce fatigue on your knees and your back it matters, it pays off. And so I immediately noticed that whenever I got onto this grasshopper, I uh, really enjoyed that. The uh, Another thing that I liked about this that I didn't see on others, and it's a, it, these are the small things, but I love the comfort features, like that little cubby that you can put your truck keys or a phone, and it also had an integrated USB charger. Um, another thing that I didn't see on any of the other mowers that I thought was incredible was the ability to adjust the entire control panel's height. So they said that you have four and a half inches of play in the vertical height adjustment of the entire control panel. Um, so the uh, the controls could have been a little more responsive and um, that's a personal preference, but overall the platform's untested. This is a brand new standard. It's not modeled after any other. I mean, we're gonna see. Time is gonna tell how these perform in the field. Okay, the winner for the overall best standard mower for 2023, I'm gonna call it it's the right ZK. Now, you might not be surprised, and I'm not sure that you should be surprised because Mr. Wright literally invented the standard category, okay? So they've had more time than anyone else to plan and perfect and iterate on the standard, and I can tell you they have not squandered a second. This thing is absolutely amazing. It was my first time to demo a Wright ZK, and I've admired them from afar for a while, but I uh, this is the first time that I've been around a Wright dealer. And uh, I'll tell you right now, the standing platform, the knee pad, extremely comfortable, the controls, extremely smooth and responsive. So if you have a good Wright dealer near you, you can't go wrong with that mower, right? ZK, that's the king of the castle for 2023 in the standard division. I hope you liked this video and learned a thing or two. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this to help you run a better and more efficient lawn and landscape business.